historically not my favorite season, but I have to say, being in Kentucky this year, I've truly enjoyed this season in a way that I'm not sure I ever really have. The temperatures are warmer, but not too warm. We're getting tons and tons of rain. Things are in bloom, and it actually feels like a distinct season. However, spring is quite a difficult seasonal transition for a lot of people coming out of winter. There's a lot of weather fluctuations, lots of colds and flus and viruses circulating. So I wanted to do a video on some ideas for you to consider adding to a spring holistic medicine cabinet. And this video is featuring products from one of my favorite brands of all time, In Light Beauty. There is a special gift with purchase promotion going on right now through Beauty Heroes. Beauty Heroes is currently the only US stockist for In Light, which is a UK based beauty brand. We're going to be talking about their skin balms as part of their skin aid ointment range. These are the latest products that Beauty Heroes has started carrying from Inlight. So if you know Inlight at all, you know that they are an oil forward, balm forward brand. It's a consistency of balm that I really, really like. So they do the face balms that many of you may be familiar with, like the deep moisture balm, the line softener, and they also have these range of therapeutic balms, I would consider them. They call them ointments. Some of these can be used in a skincare routine, but some of of them have more far-reaching therapeutic purposes, which really makes them a perfect addition to a medicine cabinet. So the five skin aids in Inlight's range are the Calendula and Damask Rose Soothing Balm, the Turmeric and Calendula Relief Balm, the Propolis and Tea Tree Rescue Balm, and then I just have minis in these others, the Arnica and Hyssop Trauma Balm, and the Rosemary and Hypericum, which is St. John's Wort Recovery Balm. I'll talk through them in the order of, I guess I'll say my favorites or most used, but I really love all of them. I just get more use out of some of them than others. The very first one I fell in love with was the Propolis and Tea Tree Rescue Balm. I have been trying these balms on and off for the last year and a half. The Propolis and Tea Tree I used so much last summer on bug bites for my then two and a half turning three year old. Uh, it was a very ag aggressive mosquito and bug summer in Chicago last year. I really did not want to use a hydrocortisone or a steroid type of cream. Calamine lotion I could not find anywhere. This is a wonderful, wonderful balm if you have kids who are spending time outside. I would just dab a little bit on bug bites. It really takes down inflammation. The propolis is extremely healing. And the tea tree, I guess you could use this as a spot treatment as well on acne, but I've pretty much exclusively used it on kids, bug bites, scrapes, superficial wounds, depending on the type of skin irritation or inflammation that you're dealing with. Some of the other balms might be a little bit better, but this to me is just such a wonderful all around healing balm. The next one that I've gotten the most use out of, and in fact, I've gone through an entire mini of, is the Calendula and Damask Rose Soothing Balm. Out of the five, this is the one that I would use the most for skincare. Massage is often as needed to soothe, moisturize, and protect sensitive skin. Calendula is one of my favorite ingredients, also known as marigold, and rose is just such a wonderful ingredient for the skin on our face. Suitable for sensitive skin, including babies. So this would probably be, this is I think the most gentle one of the five, and it's going to be a little bit more healing than uh, something like, you know, I've been using the pipette baby balm or the Dr. Bronner's Unscented Magic Balm. Those are really nice, but this is gonna have a little bit more of a healing capacity to it. And I should also mention that the entire brand is 100% organic. That's very hard to find. Very few brands use 100% organic ingredients. This one I use very regularly. In fact, this is the one I've been using this spring on my face. And also I've had bits of weird skin irritation. I don't know if they would really be considered hives or slight eczema outbreaks. The turmeric and calendula relief balm. So if you're dealing with skin that's kind of itchy and red, 
This is a great one. Apply to dry, red, itchy skin as often as needed to calm and keep the area well moisturized. Part of what happens in the spring for me personally anyway is, you know, the skin on my face, the moisture levels kind of get out of whack as I'm adapting to um, different moisture levels in the air. I can just get red, dry, lifeless, dull kind of skin. It's the only time of year that I really do crave a bit more exfoliation. This has just been such a wonderful soothing balm to use in the evening if I'm feeling at all red or irritated. So another good one in addition to the calendula and rose to use um, on the face, but also if you're having eczema body outbreaks. The Arnica and Hyssop and the Rosemary and Hypericum, these are the most therapeutic in my opinion, I guess in addition to the tea tree and propolis. Um, but the Arnica and Hyssop and the Rosemary and Hypericum, I personally haven't tried using on my face and I'm not sure I necessarily would. The Arnica and Hyssop is going to be the equivalent of something like an Arnica gel. They Inlay also does have an Arnica body oil. Uh, so really good for sore, aching muscles, or if you have a bruise. Arnica is really excellent to apply topically. This one I haven't used a ton just because I guess don't have a lot of bruises or often have much need for an Arnica. If I have sore muscles, you know, say in my neck or my shoulders, which I get a lot because I'm often carrying children around or falling asleep in uncomfortable positions, I have been reaching more for the rosemary and hypericum, which is another favorite herb for me. Actually, I use a St. John's wort infused body oil from Mythic Medicine very regularly. I've been buying it for years. But the rosemary in this makes a really nice muscle relaxant. I find it to have a very nice muscle relaxant quality. If you want to do gua sha on your neck or your shoulders, it feels so good and it feels like it helps to open channels and drain. So very similar in effect to something like the Yina body balm, which Beauty Heroes featured last year. That balm was uh, scent wise slightly too strong for me. And I find that the Inlight Rosemary and Hypericum balm gives me the effect that I was looking for from that balm, the rosemary is, is just beyond. So if you're doing any kind of body work or neck massage or trying to loosen up sore muscles, this is what I would reach for or the Arnica balm as well. So those are the five balms. I believe they each retail for $38 on Beauty Heroes. So starting today, Sunday, May 1st, until supplies run out, Beauty Heroes and Inlight are offering a gift with purchase where with any $100 Inlight order, you'll receive a full size Inlight Under Eye Revive as part of your order. I've done gift with purchases with Inlight and Beauty Heroes before. We've done a free lip serum, and I think we've done a free mask before as well, if I'm remembering correctly. But this is definitely the highest value item gift with purchase that we've done. And I can say that I absolutely love this product because I've gone through a whole pot of it. In fact, I finished it sometime while I was pregnant. I think maybe, in the late spring, early summer. I have really missed it since then. It is quite an emollient eye balm, probably best suited for most people to use in the evening. So what I wanna say and what I really wanna highlight about Inlight is the expiration dates on these products, March of 2024 expiration on the bottom, so that's two years from now. I can attest firsthand that these products truly maintain their potency. There's really no degradation in the quality of the product after two plus years. I think I've used all of my Inlight products up within two and a half years, and I've never noticed them to decline in quality. This is because the products are formulated with such a high degree of energetic integrity that it provides this extra subtle layer of preservation. The products just really stay fresh with no degradation for much longer than you would anticipate. So all of that to say, even if you don't anticipate using this until the fall or winter, it's still such a worthwhile purchase to make right now to get the gift. So you can use the code REVIVE, R-E-V-I-V-E, -E, at beautyheroes.com at checkout if you are purchasing $100 or more of Inlight products. If you want to 
get the gift with purchase. So I have done this before in the past. I'll include down below some of my favorite product combinations to get to $100. I'm gonna be stocking up myself. I'm gonna be picking up another floral tonic because I really like this product a lot. I talked about it, I think, in the recent Patreon skincare routine video I did. I think I'm gonna be picking up more of the chocolate mask and superfood mask. This is just such a beloved brand for me. And if you have yet to check them out, I think this is a wonderful time to do so. All right, so I thought it would be fun to talk about a few other products, some that I've used for a while, some that are new additions to my holistic medicine cabinet here at home. Keep in mind, I have small children. I have a three and a half year old and a six month old. So I'm always thinking about how to stock things for any sort of eventuality. Um, why don't we talk about these homeopathic products first because it's a nice follow on to the Arnica Balm. I also recommend people pick up some homeopathic Arnica because if someone has a bad fall, say off a bicycle or skateboarding or rollerblading or whatever, just trips and gets a bad bruise. Um, you can apply topical Arnica, but you can also take Arnica homeopathically internally. You can pick up the Boiron 6C or 30C at Whole Foods or like really any health food store will have a whole homeopathy display. I've been learning more and working with homeopathy a lot more in the last couple of years because it's just such a good tool to help treat very common childhood illnesses and also just you know accidents that ha that happen here and there it can just make life easier so homeopathic arnica i took this also right after i had my second baby in october um just great to help with reducing swelling and it doesn't interfere with other medications homeopathy does not and then i have this pacific northwest essences shock and trauma support this was a blend that ava from pacific northwest essences is also the person behind earthwise uh, she made this for me a couple years ago but essences and homeopathy stay good for years and years if not decades if you store them properly this has arnica comfrey japanese knotweed saint john's wort white rose flower essences and homeopathy i think that they work synergistically there's a lot of context to that i kind of talked about this in a podcast episode that i did recently having some sort of trauma shock and trauma flower essence and some sort of shock and trauma homeopathy I think is really helpful in addition to the topical Arnica products. Okay, then we can talk about sun, although, you know, not so much a spring product. Sun exposure and sun protection are huge topics. My thinking is always evolving on them, but for days that we are gonna be outside in the sun a lot, I do like to use non-nano physical sunscreen blockers in a smart and sparing way. I, have, for years, have used the Babo Botanicals mineral sunscreens, which I have and I still will use. This year for the kids, I'm gonna be trying the Pipette Mineral Sunscreen Broad, Broad Spectrum SPF 50. The thing that I've been hearing about Pipette uh, is that they don't use any polyunsaturated fatty acid oils. This is a huge topic. I talked about it a bit in my Mercedes Shops video if you missed that one. So then in addition to those, for myself, I've been experimenting more with sun oils and sun balms. These don't actually have a physical blocker like zinc in them. The composition of them makes them almost like natural sunscreens and taking vitamin E internally can also help the skin being out in the sun. I talked about vitamin E in my Eco Beauty on a Budget video. So the benefits of high quality internal vitamin E supplementation are very far reaching, but I have the Wild Woman uh, Sunny Sun Protective Skin Balm. Skin Balm, I got this last summer and I really like it. And then I have the Living Libations Everybody Loves the Sunshine Golden Tanning Oil. I got really into Living Libations. Again, last summer it was like a, re a revisiting. Living Libations was a brand that was I was into very early in my eco beauty days okay bug spray i think this is an important recommendation i didn't get this until later in the summer i could have used it much earlier in the season so i went with the good flower farm into the woods bug spray a lot of bug sprays have ingredients you really don't want near your skin in my opinion there's a bunch of more natural ones i feel like you can get at whole foods or any health food store with you know varying levels i guess of 
effectiveness. I have found this one to be pretty effective and I liked the ingredients a lot. It's just distilled water, witch hazel, glycerin, and then it has some essential oils of citronella, geranium, lavender, and lemongrass. It's easy to apply. I feel really good about using it on my kids. So the last couple things I want to mention are really geared towards spring allergy season because I'm suspecting that my three and a half year old is having a bit of seasonal allergies. But I think with kids, environmental allergies are, are common as their immune systems are still kind of calibrating and always developing and strengthening. So you hear a lot about bee products for helping with seasonal allergies. Bee pollen is also something else that I've been into in the last year or so. It's an excellent source of copper, which is something I've been so interested in researching minerals and m mineral metabolism in the human body and the relationships between magnesium, copper, iron, potassium, boron, all of them. It's a really fascinating world and something that I think is really overlooked in the alternative health conversation. So that's where my research head has been at. The next step beyond bee pollen is a bee bread type of product. Um, I don't know if, how many of you have heard of this, but I recently started taking the Rosita bee bread, which is a pre-digested fermented pollen. Um, I'm also experimenting with the Rosita cod liver oil right now and noticing great results from both, but in particular the bee bread, which tells me that because I just had my second baby, that I'm needing to really replenish my copper because I get a huge positive, almost nootropic effect from taking the bee bread. So wild bees not farmed collect a diverse variety of pollens and store them in their hives. The bees add extra secretions and microorganisms to the pollens which undergo a natural lactic acid fermentation similar to that in yogurt. This breaks down the pollens, transforming them into bee bread, um, which has a characteristic sour taste. I actually prefer the taste of these bee bread uh, little pellets to regular bee pollen. So I wanted to mention those for seasonal allergy purposes because I think this just has such far reaching health benefits, but in particular during the spring when histamine issues are um, kicking up, the last thing I wanted to mention, I don't have any of, but I am planning to order some to stock in my own medicine cabinet, is the company Genexa, G-E-N-E-X-A. They're branded as a clean medicine company. Some of the things in the range are like traditional medicines like acetaminophen, or I forget what the active ingredient in a cough suppressant is. They're formulated without all the additional dyes and artificial flavorings and corn syrup and you know whatever is, is in you were to just go get children's Tylenol, for example, they're formulating um, an acetaminophen without any of that. So the ingredients are really minimal, but you're still getting the active part. They also in their range have um, homeopathic blends. I think there's some homeopathic remedies in many of the formulations. So they're a sort of combo. They have an allergy product for kids. I believe it's only for kids six and up. So use that at your discretion, but I think they have several different clean, I would prefer to use the word eco or holistic um, allergy medicine. So I wanted to mention that if you're looking for something that sort of straddles the, the both worlds of more natural healing arts type of modalities and what you can find on the shelves of your local drugstore. That's all for today. Thank you guys so much for spending some time with me. I hope that you got some useful information or some things to consider or go research on your own, things that can help you or your family. During seasonal transitions, and I did not even get into things like herbal supports and detoxification, the scope of, of this topic is huge. And I just wanted to give some high level stuff that could be helpful for uh, particularly people with young children like myself. All the information about the gift with purchase and the code and the my favorite combinations of products to get to the order minimum, I'll put down below in the description box. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions. I read every single comment and then it tends to be a little bit of time before I can go back and answer, but I definitely do prioritize going back and answering people's questions in comments. Best places to keep in touch are on Instagram at Lamore La Musique or on Patreon, which is patreon.com slash Lamore La Musique. I do live videos every week. I do all my podcast episodes are currently only being published on Patreon. 
and I do bonus video every month. This month I'm doing a what I eat in a day video. It's been forever and I'm gonna be talking a lot about the pro-metabolic community. <laughs> Discovered it while I was pregnant. The work of Ray Pete uh, in particular, there's a lot, of, a lot of ideological dogma there. I'm redesigning my website, lamorialamusique.com, so you can look forward to a brand new, hopefully very organized and easy to navigate site in the coming months. Thank you so much to Inlight and to Beauty Heroes for working with me on this. I've worked with Beauty Heroes for eight years now. In Light, I discovered through Beauty Heroes and I've been so devoted to them since the moment I discovered them in the fall of 2018. Thanks so much guys and I'll see you soon. Bye.